11. Which of the following statements is true of nuclear fission? This is in science. Is it letter A, the process is identical to that which occurs in the sun? Letter B, energy is obtained when nucleus of atoms split? Letter C, matter from lighter atoms is changed into energy? Letter D, scientists combine lighter atoms to form heavier atoms. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for number 11? Okay, some are already answering. There's C, B, C, A. Okay, so iba iba yung yung answer for number eleven. Okay, let me explain uh, the choices that you have for number eleven here. Again, the question is which of the following statements is true of nuclear fission? Before I go to that, let me just explain the different types of reactions that we have in chemistry. So, sa chemistry po, meron tatlong tatlong klase ng 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 reactions. The first one is a physical reaction, second one is a chemical reaction, and the third one is nuclear reaction. Pag sinabi mo pong physical reaction, walang bagong substance na na-form. Okay? There's no new substance form. It can be converted back. Pwede niyong ibalik sa original form ang inyong substance. Now, all phase or state changes are just physical change. Pag sinabi nating state change or change in the state of matter or phase changes in matter, examples nito would be boiling, freezing, melting. These are all just physical change. Lumalabas po yan sa let. Pag tinanong kayo ng let na uh, boiling happens when liquid water is uh, put into heat. Okay, and it forms water vapor. This is an example of what type of change. So yung magiging answer niyo po dyan would be physical change. Yung change po in the state of matter, which means ang change po from solid liquid to gas, that is just going to be a physical change. Pag in yung ice, ice of course is a solid water, pag nagmelt melt siya, magiging liquid water siya, tubig pa rin siya. So sinasabi natin pag physical change, walang bagong substance. From ice na solid water into liquid water, it's still water. Okay, so walang bagong substance. It can be converted back. Pupwede mo siyang maibalik sa pagiging ice, ilalagay mo lamang siya sa freezer. Okay, so that's your physical change. There is no new substance form. It can be converted back. Pag sinabi mo namang chemical change, there is a new substance form and it cannot be converted back. Cannot be converted back. There's a new substance form. And usually, meron kang sinasabing evidences for chemical change. Malalaman mo na chemical change pag merong smoke, may heating, may bubbles, may light, may amoy. Okay, so examples for this would be, for example, nag-bake ka ng cake, so meron kang flour, meron kang um, cake mix, for example, meron kang egg, may water ka. Now, you mix all of them and you put them in the oven, tapos nagkaroon ka ng, ng cake. Now, so may bagong substance na na-form at hindi mo na mako-convert ang mga materials or mga ingredients na meron ka. Hindi mo na makukuha yung itlog na fresh, hindi mo na makukuha yung tubig, hindi mo na makukuha yung flour. Okay, it cannot be converted back. My smoke, my heating, my bubbles, my light, my odor. Those are your chemical changes. One common example of a chemical change is rusting. Yung pagkakaroon ng kalawang. Okay, that's a chemical change. Digestion, decay, decomposition. These are all chemical change. Pag, pag, uh, Nung pag nagiging bulok ang isang bagay, no, that's a chemical change. Hindi mo na siya mababalik sa kanyang fresh state. Okay, so chemical change, there's a new substance form and you cannot you cannot convert it back to its original form. Now, meron din tayong tinatawag na nuclear change. Okay, ano naman ng nuclear change? This is a change in the nucleus, which is a central part of the atom. I have discussed this in our previous live stream, the different parts of your atom, your protons, neutrons, electrons. If you haven't watched the previous live stream, 
make sure that you check our playlist called Gen Ed and Prof at live streams. Lahat po ng live streams nandon sa playlist na yon. Okay, so nuclear change is the change in the nucleus, which is the central part, the se the center part of your atom. Go to the different types of nuclear reactions that we have here. Again, this is by use of a Venn diagram, and a Venn diagram is a graphic organizer that we can use to differentiate or to show the similarities and the differences between uh, two objects. Now, again, we said one common thing about fusion and fission is that both of them generate a lot of energy. On fusion, you have smaller nuclei and you fuse or you combine them together to create a bigger nucleus. Ang fission naman is the opposite. You split a bigger nucleus to form smaller nuclei. Ang example ng yung fusion is in the making of sun's energy, sa fission naman, your example would be your atomic bomb and hydrogen bomb. Okay, so that's fusion and fission. Fusion, fuse, putting, putting together smaller nuclei to create a bigger one. Example, sun's energy. Fission, you have a, a big nucleus and you split them or you split it into smaller nuclei. Example would be atomic bomb, nuclear bomb. All right. Now, going back to our question, which of the following statements is true of nuclear fission? Is it letter A, the process is identical to that which occurs in the sun? Now, the question is nuclear fission. Again, yung fusion po, yun yung put together mo yung mga maliliit na nucleus or nuclei. Okay? Is it nuclear fission, the process identical to that which occurs in the sun? We know that this is wrong because this is nuclear fusion. Energy is, ob is obtained when nucleus of atoms split. Matter from lighter atoms is changed into energy. Scientists combine lighter atoms to form heavier atoms. This is still fusion. So the correct answer here would be letter B. Okay, letter B is the correct answer. Again, letter B, that's energy is obtained when nucleus of atoms split.